What's it coming from this pool? Oh, hey! What's up, y'all? It's Teacher, and welcome back to the Teal Mask episode two. In the last episode, we learned the truth about Ogre Pond, and now we're gonna meet with Kira, and he's run off, and we're gonna see the third tablet with him and see what the conclusion to the three-part tale is. But he overheard us talking about Ogre Pond, and now he knows the truth. This is this DLC kicks ass compared to the Isle of Armor. I don't mean to compare them. Oh, we're actually nearby. You have a swine I'm following you? Before I go on, guys, make sure I'll shank that like button. 4K likes, we upload this again. Kieran, where is he? Dude, the trailer's completely... That's him right there. They bamboozled us. They made it look like Kieran was jealous of the friendship we were making with the sister. But... You're sleeping up there? But he actually learned the truth about Ogre Pond. What, what is he doing right here? Is he looking at all the propaganda? Kieran. Oh, uh, hey, hey Tamo. So, uh, I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just, uh, talking about? Oh, no, I don't wanna lie to him. Bro, we have so much to talk about. Let's wait till we get a bit further. Uh, nothing much. You know why we're lying to you, right? Oh, I, I see. So, so, about those signs. The last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. Ooh, he's staying behind this time. Usually he's run off ahead, right? Come on, you can trust us, man. Why? Why'd you lie to me, Frick? I knew it. <laughs> I knew you'd be hurt by it. Okay, so listen, guys. There is some craziness to talk about. Take a selfie at the check. Why? When did this become an actual word? Hey. I thought you were going to leave me a flag. Okay, let's see. Over the crap. Oh, you did leave me one. Well, I was actually kind of proud you didn't. <laughs> so I made it here. We got. I got to show you the crystal pool again. So, uh, frick. I wrote down my thoughts, but I can't even read my own ha handwriting. First thing is, they told us this this place so guys they told us this backstory where a long time ago uh we walked this way okay a traveler from a foreign land came and now at first <laughs> so he came with ogre pond and at first i thought they called both of them ugly and i was wondering if like the man was somehow pokemon but that's just me being stupid it was ogre pond and a man and because ogre pond was ugly the man wasn't allowed in the village as well so they both wore those masks. But they said he came from a foreign place and that he brought the brought crystals. So clearly that man is from Paldia. What is in my face right? Whoa, why is that water like that? Uh, we got a tear spot here. He's from Paldia. So now the question is... And that means the masks have like Teropagus energy to them. And okay, so another thing I realized is I looked up... Uh, the word. What was the word they used? It was like, budgen. Oh, not budgen, man. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Give me a sec. Cudgel, right? A cudgel is a club. So they're saying when Ogre Pond dons the different masks, that his club changes. So he has like a special terror, but it's because he's using Tropicus' powers. So the question is, how long ago did this person from Paldia come? Come on, am I recording? I always gotta make sure. Now, it could be from a long time ago. But what if it was from like around 200 years ago? Because it sounds like, you know, it wasn't lost in translation as it got passed down through the generations. Not that something like that could be. What the frick is that? What is that on the map? Oh my god, a mass outbreak of timber. Is that what it was? Uh, what the frick? There's what? What's the? Listen, I haven't played this game in a while. I don't know what that question mark is. Can I? What the frick is that? Come on, don't do this. To... What the frick is that? You know, you guys probably already know. It's probably something simple. It probably was the mass outbreak. So if it was from like 200 years ago, imagine that guy who came here. Was actually like a friend of Heath or something. What was that? It looked like an Amoongus. 
And like, like, wouldn't that be so cool to learn of a crew member he had? Here's Gligar. Gligar looks like a Pokemon that have an entry here. But whoever it was, like, they, they must have come from Area Zero. But I wonder why they're carrying those crystals with them. Please tell me. Oh, I'm such an idiot, man. Okay, so we're gonna walk this way. Man, that story was cool. I guess I can try to catch some of these Pokemon. But here we go. We're right here. Listen, Kieran. Did this, did Kieran hear why we're lying to him? We're lying to him. Why? Because he's not old enough yet? Yeah, beat him up, man. Beat him up. Beat everyone up. Here we go. Oh, he's here. These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? The sucker's pissed, bro. <laughs> uh, let's do it. I don't know how much better your team can be. Okay, let me heal up our Pokemon. But you know, anger's, good. anger's a good bringer of confidence, you know? Maybe he can gain some confidence this way. Because he probably feels like he can only trust himself now. This time, I'll win. Listen, my boy. You gotta go catch that ogre pawn and beat your sister up, then beat me up. You still have Yanma? What else did I freaking write here? What the hell? Oh! I wanna win, I wanna win, so I got this. So, next thing is how he... What? Is this a double battle? The next thing is, how did he intuit the truth about Ogre Pond already? Now, it's just the grandpa's theory that Kieran might... Ah, I should have thought things through. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. It's just the grandpa's theory that he might have intuited the truth, but... I wonder if in a weird way, that as the descendants went on, Diplin... That Kieran is actually like the closest to that ancestor. I don't know, in some symbolic way. Frick, what does this do? Lowers my evasiveness. Listen, my boy. I guess I don't have ice moves. I'll flamethrower. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot. Diplin's fully evolved. You got this, Diplin. Get him covered in syrup. What's this move called? Candy apple syrup. Syrup bomb. Ah, oh, you suck. Lowers my speed. Yo. That's why I thought it was a double battle. Who's that? <laughs> He's watching. Oh, frick. It's gonna take a couple flamethrowers. But yeah, man, this... Frick, this DLC is nice. Like, it's nice that it's involved with the main story. I was thinking for a bit. You know, I was trying to give the Isle of Armor a fair chance. I was thinking for a bit. Like, what the Isle of Armor offers compared to this. And I think the main thing is that... This connects to the main lore. You know, it explains some side branch to help us understand terrestrializing. For it. Is that your uh, signature Pokemon? Diplin? Yeah, we all thought Diplin would evolve or something, but it doesn't look like it would. Tidy up? Does it clear entry hazards? Okay, attack speed? Whoa! There's a, <laughs> there's a new dragon dance? Is that a new move? Oh, come on, Kieran. You're so ass. But I, I, I guess that's everything I wrote that I can read. But that's cool, right? So Ogre Punt does have a weapon. That's why they showed him with the club when he was coming back down to the village. So when they, when they told that story, they didn't really explain what happened to... Can I think of his last Pokemon? Puchiena? No, that's what the sis had. Poliwrath. I could have predicted that. I should have switched. Why? Why does it have to be like this? Why? Hey, even his headband's got horns. Okay, I I've got to switch now. Uh, I will go into... I guess I'll go into... No, I'll go into Morty. So, they don't properly explain what happened. Yo! <laughs> Bro. I'm look- Because I edited the last episode of Fire Cortis. When I see the part where they say three greedy Pokemon showed up, it's so badass how- How stupidly ugly and evil the loyal three look. I can't believe Game Freak actually named them wrong. 
like going forward when we're looking back at this game we're still calling them the loyal three trio but it's completely wrong but man if you look at their designs now they're so abhorrent and they're pokemon that aren't even paldian wonder if we'll ever learn what region they're from well we aren't even in paldia right now anyway it's all because I'm too weak. What did it say? I want Austin. I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I... We should go check out the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. Hey, you see? We got a motion. <laughs> okay, what could the third part be? Oh yeah, this is all propaganda. Okay. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. That's pretty cool. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will you will live to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. Dude, this story sounds right. If you didn't know the truth, it sounds scary, the ogre. In the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went. And the one who made those masks were actually... It is like 200 years ago. My great, great, great grandpa's... <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> so every great can be like 20 years. So you have 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. That could have... This still could be like 200 years. Oh, shoot. Or something. So the stories are true? I mean, I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I heard... I even heard that the reason we hold a festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seems sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that, treated like some kind of outcast. Why am I saying sorry? Hey bro! Listen! Frick! For what? You know what? Wanna take that last photo? Oh my goodness, he's <laughs> look at look at his evolution, bro. He's pissed. Holy frick! <laughs> I like this. Well, we're all done with their assignment now, but I've got to get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. I don't think you're heading home, bro. <laughs> Frick, so we've officially seen everything from the trailers now. Even the scene with them getting angry. If you see a shadowy figure... Pro oh, he's kissing my ass, bro. But I like this theme of wearing masks. And how whenever you're wearing masks, you know, you can't really... You, you guys are reduced to just mask wearers. Okay. Can I just get my ass kissed already? You know, that seemed pretty accurate. 20, if you count each grade as 20 years, it does sound like it was like around 200 or like 180 years ago. This is fascinating. He really could have been like a crew member of Heath, or maybe even he could be like... Wait a minute. We, this confirms Heath had kids, right? If she's a descendant of him, he didn't just die with no kids. So it could literally be maybe like 180 years ago and be Heath's like kid. His direct kid who came here. But man, did they make him look pretty cool. With the long hair and all. Okay, I mean, I could try to catch some of these Pokemon. You know what? I'll catch a bunch of these Pokemon just to see if there's any new entries. 
Okay, well, I caught a couple of these Pokemon. Unremarkable teacup. I think... Oh, that's the bad cup. Why? Oh, I can't believe I found one. Yeah, I caught a bunch of these Pokemon. They don't seem to really have new entries. I guess it's rare. But, okay, let's go back and rest. So, Briar's gonna be really interested with Ogre Pond. This is so cool. Okay, let's see. I have to go to the camp, which is here. Come on, let me go. Uh, right here. Okay, the flag is there. You know, I felt really smart for figuring that out. I want to see what she'll say. They really couldn't let her just wear one of those, huh? What the hell are you looking at? My heart is crushed. Imagine an alternate world where it's called the Infernal Mask. Briar, change your... The candy fruits. Oh, I've already talked to you. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, I want to try this out. Do I just talk to you? Special services? What? No, I need you to... What the freak is this? Leave them so I match my location. Hey, can I... Can I go to my room? Oh. Oh. Okay, well, let's call it a night. Okay, so a whole day is about to pass. Kieran said he was going home. So that's how his grandpa's able to fix them. Oh, it's chicken, man. Good morning, demo. Carmine wanted me to tell you she's waiting at her place. She said you'd better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Who does she think I am? What? Let me go. Uh, you have something new to say? Some student pairs haven't finished the orienteering assignment yet. In the meantime, why not do some exploring? Enjoy Kita coming to your heart's content. I want to enjoy it with you. You're not even doing anything. I have some secrets you might want to hear. These, these, I'm just looking at a picture of, uh, Ogre Pond here. Those, those, uh, Terra shards, man. I want to know why the Paldian guy who came here was carrying them anyway. I mean, yeah, they're Terra shards. You might as well carry them, but... I wonder if he knew what he was carrying. And are they just any Terra crystals, or did he, like, pick some special ones? Hello, Carmine. I wonder if her name's Carmen. Tamo, you took your sweet time. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki went. He's not home. I wanted to fix dear Ogre Pond's mask, but... I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fixed it up first. So Ho Ogre Pond should be fond of this whole family, right? Because they made the masks to allow them to live amongst the people. But why did they have to live in this village? If they were outcasted, couldn't they just go somewhere else? Maybe they just look like a monster everywhere they went. Uh, yeah, that'd be a nice thing to do. Well, I'm, I am interested. Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogre Pond to be happy, you know? I'm sure Ogre Pond will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? What the fuck? I did go to sleep? <laughs> no, that's a shadow clone, bro. Morning, Grandpa. Ah, uh, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me, I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? <laughs> Saka got the red god, it's over. What's his problem? He's been bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know, he spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Oh, he was plotting. Must be teen angst or something, it happens. It would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging you, Tamo. Guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pool is at the top of Oni Mountain. Yeah, I know where it is, I explore, you know. Why do you say you and I go for a hike? How about I and I go for a hike? Hey, Grandpa, where's Grandma? Did someone murder her? The Pokemon around the Crystal Pool are strong. Yeah, they're level 70. I was just there, man. This is the murder weapon! Let me check the window. Grandma? Oh, Fred, they killed Grandma. Let me get some flowers. I'm gonna go in the house. I gotta check up on Grandma. Oh, God, she's dead. They're not letting me in the house. Okay, so I have a cheat uh, sheet. Cheat sheet? I have a cheap way to the crystal pool. Because I went there. Paradise Barrens. Well, okay, let, let's actually just look at this map for a sec, right? So here's the crystal pool. This is where we saw the third spot. What the hell? Is there just nothing here? Kira Kami Wa. Ah! What F going there? I want to go to the timeless woods. 
Okay, I'm gonna fly here, but do not activate a cutscene. Parents should be there. Adamant's descendant. You know, I said for a joke that <laughs> she looks... Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Thank goodness. I said for a joke, I gotta set the destination. Okay, let's set this first and then talk later. Freaking glimits are here. Man, that's so cool, guys. That, that uh, Blueberry Academy is near Unova. They, when, we, uh, when we visit Unova, they have to mention Blueberry Academy. And it also brings up a question, right? So if there are Unova remakes, will they kind of change things up? Like how Auras changed things up and now invent a whole Blueberry Academy? You know, like like how there's... Can you climb, dog? Freaking climb! Like how new Marvel is in Auras instead of the... It's not called new Marvel. They're just Marvel City looks different. Like you think they change it up so Blueberry Academy's there? Or do you think in whatever format we're revisiting Unova, it'll be... It'll take place after the original games. You know? Because Drayden and stuff look... I mean, right now, the time period we're in right now seems like far after Black and White. A, a lot of the games now are sequential, right? So Sun and Moon are long time after Red and Blue. Sword and Shield is after Sun and Moon. Which of course is after X and Y because the Megas are there. And then Scarlet and Violet is after Sword and Shield, right? So time is passing. So if Drayden would exist in the new Unova games... That, you know, that's assuming he actually is like the grandson or something of the other Drayden. You know, it can't really be in the same continuity. Well, no, it can't be in the same time period. Hello, Vulpix. Timeless woods. I really just got a sense I'd be teleported to the beginning. Those freaking woods in Zelda, man. Electrikes? Oh god, the shiniest quag- what the hell? Hey, is that a white basculin? Oh my god, that's why he's in the Pokedex. They live on in Kitakami. So this is another way this could be called the Timeless Woods. You know, as a reference that ancient- They're not really ancient, but all their Pokemon came here and they just survived here. Charger Bug? Bruh. Who made that thing? Uh, Perrin? Hmm, let's think to the trailer. Where do they show Perrin? Do they show her at, like, the school? I don't know. She would have to be some- Where's that cave I just saw? Are you freaking kidding me? They I've never seen them walk! They really walk like- Kill it! They really walk like jelly- f Um, kill it? Murder it? Think of it like the grandma. No, not that kind. Great. You know, this is a bit of a coincidence that all these Polyon Pokemon are here as well. You just have to assume all the games take are 71? Dude, these levels look like the Crown Tundra. This is amazing. Alright, someone else can go in the front. Area doses. You know what? I'm gonna try to catch some of these Pokemon around here. Ashek learned Mega Horn. These Pokemon don't seem very good. I've so far got no new entries and I caught almost everything here. So forget them. Where's that cave? Somewhere around here. Hey man. I'm not really in the Lost Woods. Maybe I never saw a cave. I'm just seeing these ridges. It doesn't let you climb out! <laughs> Get me out of here! Get me the frick out of here! At least show me the cave! Ah! A cave with nothing in it! I will bite. Let's see. You're a dark type. Oh, an ice type! 74, bruh. Get this collision course. Oh. Yes, baby. Oh, I did kill it. Parent, I'm ca catching some really cool Pokemon. You might want to come out. Oh, yeah. I was saying. So I said for a joke that maybe uh, that she kind of looks like she got the hair of Erda as well. It's not a new entry still. But, you know, she's not really the descendant of Erda as well. 
I don't think there's really a point to saying that the two descendants, it's the same lineage. I mean, it'd be cool if in a future game, like in the new Unova game, look at the words coming out of my mouth, that you see someone who just looks like Irida. You know, kind of cool. Hey, where's your King Gambit, buddy? Probably dead. Like all the kings. Okay. I just need some help, guys. I want to find a cave that was here. Whoa! Look, there's a moss rock. What the frick? Hey! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's so cool. They put... A So I gotta wake up. They put a Snorlax sleeping in here. How freaking cool. <gasps> Masterpiece teacup. Wow. That's a fast way to get it. Okay. You. Come on. You have to have a po It's Bambi. You have to have a Pokedex entry. What's good, Snorri? Big Snor- Imagine Snorlax getting an evolution. Alright, I can quick ball you. It has nothing. It devours nearly 900 pounds of food a day. But it only weighs a thousand pounds. Dude, we could have a variant of Snorlax that does, it's, that's not even like a regional variant. It's just a deprived variant. Where it's like mad skinny. It's just a hundred pounds. And he's like, I don't know. He's found photosynthesis or something. I'm getting out of here. I'm going all the way back to the crystal pool. Now, how are we supposed to dive to the bottom though? We can use a fishing rod? You want to talk about this place, uh, Carmine? One of the six wonders of the Kitakami. Speak to me. Say something. There you are, Tamo. Come on. Get a load of this view. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people who've... ...passed away here. Wait a second. Can Tropicus's crystals do that? Now we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in, Tamo. Go on then. Jump in. Don't be scared. Jump in like into the pool? Well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did. You've got a real nifty Pokemon ride on, right? You'll be fine. Who there? What in the... an earthquake? Is it coming from this pool? Whoa! Hey! Oh, my Lodic! Uh, uh, hey! Okay! So you just a Mavis appears out of nowhere? This one looks strong. You're awfully lucky that I'm a... You don't freaking shut up. There's her blueberry clothes again. Dude, if the... Not that it's actually bringing people back to life, but if it in some weird way gives visions of the past like that, that could ex also explain how he thought he talked to someone. And that works to be like... Oh, I could try to catch it. Oh, I can't. I have to kill it. Well, collision course. On the Morpeko. I'm sorry, now we have to sit through this. Did you just miss? She deserved it. Look how useless she about to be here. You know, so it's like Heat sees a vision of the ancient people. And for some reason, they're trying to get this guy to reinvent the time machine. That's why they give him all the equations. Interesting, man. We're getting different perspectives here. You sure I can't catch it? It's weak. Come on, let's finish this. You're also weak. Did it even make a move? Hey! Hey, I'm on your side. Freeze me. Oh. I thought that happens right after he uses the move. I'll spare you, Carmine. Hmm. What could the Milotic have come out for? I mean, that was a pretty big earthquake. Sheesh, that surprised me. Now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up 
here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? The Milotic left something. Look like a prism scale. Hey, is that? It's the crystal cluster. So it looks just like those clusters in Area Zero and it's hexagon shaped. It's a freaking piece of Tropogus's. They sparkle brilliantly and are apparently necessary to repair certain masks. <laughs> Why is that in the description? Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought? Energy coming. Yes! Just who I wanted to see! Thank you! The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. It's the team! <laughs> Just wait for it. Miss Briar. Hi there, Carmine, and Thamel too. I thought you were paired with the other students. Did you decide to switch things up? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually pretty special. Ah, oh, the steam! I love it! I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering around up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool's waters emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Though I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldia. What other regions have it? What? <laughs> I see. Well, um... We've got somewhere to be, so... Let's head back, Damo. You don't like her? I would like her. A lot. Love her. A lot. Hey, Briar, let's pair up. Briar, is that you? Let's go for a dip swim. No, not you. He automatically came. Just to let you know. Briar, can I... How do I get off this thing? If I can just get the terrestrial phenomenon to reliably occur in regions... Other than Paldia, that should bring me one step closer to Teropagus. I love it. I love hearing the name. In official dialogue. What is she saying? Is she saying there's unstable terrestrial phenomenon in other regions? Or is she saying she wants to bring terrestrializing to other regions? Well... Briar, I hate to leave you here alone. But let's see what's up with Ogre Punch. So, we are gonna fly back to Masui Town. To Carmine's house. So, we're gonna give the Crystal Clump, make him fix the Ogre Punch mask. Now, not that I think this will happen, but can't the man make a fifth mask? He can. Surely he can. I guess it's like a lot of work. Hello, Grandpa. Still no sign of Grandma. Hey, Grandpa. We got the crystal cluster you needed. Damo, Carmine. I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask. What? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I think Grandpa did. And <laughs> we never. Right, I'm sorry. I knew you wouldn't just go babbling to him like that. You don't know me. Kieran seemed to be headed to Loyalty Plaza with the mask. Oh! <laughs> I think it'd be best for you two to go after him. Wouldn't it be nice if he wants to like... Seriously get revenge on all the villagers? Like your actual little villain? Oh, I thought this was a Teddy Ursa. Oh man, that'd be so cool. I don't want to eat mochi. Kieran, kill everyone. Come on, you got my... I will say no more. I'm on the good side. Hey, a toolbox. Anything in here? Freaking excuse me. Guys, you know, it kind of sucks you can't, like, go in these buildings. And then when you talk to people on the outside, they just have, like, poo-poo dialogue like this. Hello? I wish I could spend all my time at the festival, but I... Okay, no. You're not poo-poo dialogue, but some of the other ones. 
But no, I'm just I'm trying to I'm trying to offset how much approval I'm giving to this DLC by making you know complaints too. But I'm like I'm really enjoying this. So so we have to go to Loyalty Plaza. That should be over there towards the trees. Like look at watch. Okay, fine. Come on, I'm trying to get some poopoo -poo dialogue. Sure is quiet. I'll allow it. I mean, moving dialogue like that is pretty cool. It's nice to like just see people talking as you pass by them. Hey there, I'm not talking to you. Hey! There must be diplins in the trees. What are these sounds I'm hearing? Oh! <gasps> Applins! So how do you get the sticky apples? Tart apple- Hey! <laughs> Stop, Puchiana. You look like you'd have a Pokedex entry here. What is- It's an Applin. What's so special about this Applin? Fire! Oh god, it's a bug! Hey, look! Coridon and Coridon! We're working together for once. How would you guys feel about this idea? What if you could throw the Master Ball? And then pay like a hundred thousand dollars to switch the Pokeball and get it back. You know, just so you could accidentally throw it. Isn't everyone so nervous when you hover over the Master Ball? Because that way, I mean, or maybe make more expensive, but that way... You know, even if you wanted to abuse the Master Ball, it's a pretty big price. And it's not like you can just spam it. It's a pretty big process to undo it. Okay, here's Loyalty Plaza. Hey, is that a Pichu? What's your dialogue? Rotom phone apps. Nope. Trust no one. Okay, we are looking for Kieran. You're not Kieran. Mr. K Mr. Kieran. Oh. <gasps> Desecrated. Desecrated in the name of... Desecration. It's the Loyal Three statues. Pee on it. Did you pee on it already? I'll start it off. We'll do a quick piss take. You can't ride Crowdon here? Suck up. Yes. Pee on it, Crowdon. Wait. Pee. Okay, let's just say he peed. You think Maridon can pee? Damo. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys. But the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You... you knew? And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met with the ogre. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar, you're a liar. <laughs> Let's go. What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. Damo, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Are you sure? Okay, can you have evolved your Yanma already? Okay, let's do this then. Get to your position. I'm not gonna hold anything back, you hear me? What are you gonna gain having the... Mask. So obviously he's misunderstood the situation. But he's like a bit right and he's overblowing that. Oh, we have all the Okay, let's go! So, do you think using the Terra Mask, he can kind of terrestrialize a Pokemon? I know this isn't right, but I can't just hand over the mask to you. Hey, I can sweep your team. Is, this, is he a bug trainer? I haven't even paid attention. Okay. That's Flamethrower. I get stabbed on this pretty much. Oh, did you focus, Ash? I can come back from this. I got this. I got this. Oh. Air Slush? Yeah, I'm Rama Karaidon, you know that? That got you good, huh? I can beat you, Tamil. I will win. You know, the next thing Pokemon has to do... For sure... 
Uh, it's only a matter of time. You know what I'm about to say. Force loses, dude. Games have done force loses for like 20 years now. Their first force loses in like the first Final Fantasies, and it's so cool. They need to make them, you know? Like, imagine, like, in any game, it raises the stakes to a cool level. Imagine even in, like, Ruby and Sapphire, right? You fight Maxi and Archie in Mount Chimney, and you beat them. It's so stupid if you think about it. But imagine that was a forced lose, and then someone had to come and defuse the situation so you could get out. And that's how you end up fighting the evil villain early, but it's just a, a taste. It's not the actual final battle. Ooh, level 69? I guess I'll collision court. How is it raining? <gasps> it's raining mid Oricalcum Pulse. Look, you can see the Oricalcum Pulse still. You see that? What the hell? I've never seen this before. Cramorant? Well, I'm curious if the Oricalcum Pulse is still up. I'm going into Handshake. We don't ask shake anymore. But yeah, force loses, man. Like, if this was a force lose here, it'd be pretty cool. I know they can't really control where you are in the game, so it's like, if you're a champion, there's no way he beats you here. But you never know, man. Oh, it is raining. Can I just check? Oh, it is raining. Fine. And this benefits me too. I can Hydro Steam. Why did I go into you? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's see how much this does. Can it do at least half? Oh, yes, baby. Wait, Cramorant's the Galar Pokemon, right? Cramorant should totally have gone like an evolution or something. Oh, I didn't know. It didn't... S it... It didn't say it was up. Oh, my goodness. I was interested in that, you know. So that means I was getting the rain boost, the sun boost... And stab the sun boost as in the special sun boost. That's freaking weird. Okay, so what other Pokemon did he have? I don't remember, but I want to see if he can terrestrialize somehow. I mean, you deserve to have the mask, oh, Gligar. You deserve to have the mask, man. Your ancestor made it. Like our initial reason for not telling him was right. Since he loves Ogre Pond so much, we didn't want to talk about us having met him. But you should have found a way to tell him pretty fast. Polyrath. Okay, here we go. Can you terrestrialize this? Oh, this is not a good Pokemon. You know what? I'm going to switch out. I'll go into Ash Shake. Let's see. I mean, yeah, you do need the terror to terrestrialize, but I'm just curious. Oh, he can't. Fine. What the hell are you gonna do with that mask, man? Side blade. Ooh, level 71, man. I'm liking this. Just random people on the bench. <laughs> just people on the bench. What are, you, what are you guys learning? Okay, close combat. Just stab move and a stab move. We're good. Why? Why can't I be as good as you? I beat the main story, bro. Oh, man. Oh, damn, bro, chill! <laughs> Ow. Kiki, are you alright? Here, I promised. I hope he gave us a fake one, bro. He doesn't need to keep his end. Say a hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. Say a hi to the ogre for me. 
sorry, Beraldite. He's normally not like this at all. Do you think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? Kind of. Not that much. I guess kind of. What are these answers? Right. I sure never let teenage angst get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with them. You're still in your teenage angst. Hey, can you hear something? Is it coming from the Loyal 3 monument? Oh, hell no. Nah. Don't bring them back. My god, so they really did die. Goker Punt killed them. Let's go. Are they... Oh, hell. These freak. <laughs> wow, so you know they're evil from the moment you meet them. How the hell did they just rise again? Maybe they're just sleeping. Hey, get away from me. Huh? What in the world? <laughs> God, these guys are such jokesters. Yippee, yippee, yippee. But what do you want? Whisper, whisper. What are they doing? Yeah, y'all talking to us? They're freaking left like humans. Seriously, what is going on? Oh god! You guys are flying away? <laughs> They're going in the same direction! But the bird flies! What was that all about? That's so funny if you think about it from her shoes. Hey, you're right. There were three of them and they looked all sinister. That's gotta be them. The story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? What brought them back to life? Wait, they ran off towards Kitakami Hall. But what could they want? They're heroes. That can't be good. Let's go after him. Come on, Tamo. But you know the thing is, they're not heroes. They never defended the village. They were just hanging out in the village after robbing Ogre Pond's, uh trainer. Or just the guy who was with them. And it just so happens Ogre Pond went to beat him up. And so since they were fighting, they just misunderstood that as the, uh, the Loyal Three protecting them. I can't believe they're called the Loyal Three. I can't believe Ogrepon freaking actually killed them. But yeah, see, this is what I was trying to say in the beginning, but I, I lost my train of thought, is they never properly said what happened to the the guy. Not, hey, any other, any information? Kieran came back not too long ago, but I think you should leave him be for now. I think you should talk to him. But they're so good, I don't want to eat mochi. But like, I don't, like, I think he did die and the game just softens it. Because, you know, they don't want to talk too much about death. But it's something to note that they say that he guarded the last mask. And that uh, Ogre Pond just returned to find everything destroyed. Rather than outright saying that, you know, he died in the battle. So it's interesting, man. I mean, it was like around 200 years ago, at least we're going to assume. So it's not like the dude is alive. I wonder who that could have been. It'd be cool if he has an ancestor. Mr. Longhair dude. Okay, I'm going in the right direction. So yeah, when these Loyal 3 pop up, they might pop up with bad intentions. But if the villagers see them, especially after the festival yesterday, even if they come with bad intentions, with the jokesters they are, what the hell? Okay, I thought that was Monkey Dory's tail. With the jokesters they are, as soon as people start to be nice to them, they're just going to play it. Bouncy, bouncy. Hello, my friends. Where are they? My friends? Dr. Bougie? Ah, if it isn't Tamo, if only you'd been here a few moments earlier. Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three, Carmine. <laughs> what the frick? Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. But yes, you did miss out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. 
they stole the masks! It seems they wish to collect the shining masks we've kept here at Kitakami Hall. So naturally, we representatives of the hall were happy to return the masks to them with all haste. You gave them the masks? And we offered them a platter of our special Kitakami mochi, packed full of our best herbs. The loyal three gobbled them up in a flash. And you fed them? Kitakami mochi are full of nutrition. The loyal three are bigger and stronger now, I'm sure. You think they're made with the herbs? But those lousy three are the bad guys. The mask belongs to Ogre Pond. Oh, I really wish I could tell them everything. So where did those three go? They went at once to ascend Oni Mountain. They're freaking going back. Perhaps they have it in mind to finish off the terrible ogre that lurks in the dreaded den. No wonder they were dubbed the Loyal Three. Such hardworking heroes they are. <laughs> this isn't the time to be laughing at all. If the story we heard is true, then those three must have gone to get revenge on Ogre Pond. Lousy losers. They died. 3v1 and they died to Ogre Pond. They say the ogre fought using the power of its masks. But Ogre Pond doesn't have any masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. So we have to return the teal mask, but... Oh, we got it back. Yeah, let's return it. Yeah, we're on the same page, but we should split up. You head to the dreaded den and help Ogre Pond. I'll go back home to get the mask fixed up. Give me the mask and the crystal. Well, frick, man. I'll just give him the kind of broken mask. The other crystals are still there. Okay, so Ogre Pond. This is, this is cool. So when Ogre Pond came... Wait. No. Ogre Pond didn't have all four masks when he beat them up. He only had one. Damn, that makes it even cooler. What is this? The Moss and Boulder. It said that long ago, this moss, this mass of rock fell from the sky into Mossui Town. It was feared that the ogre on the mountain threw the boulder to wreak havoc on the village. Yeah, it's the horn. <laughs> it's the horn from the top. So that's one of the six. Come on, he didn't do crap. So I at first I was thinking he had all four masks when he came down here, but he only had one, man. The sucker is strong. Okay, so Oni Mountain. I guess we could fast travel there. The treaded den. Okay, let's just do this. Let's get there the proper way. Timbers. Hey, what is that hole? Maybe that's the way. Oh, there's so many holes. I like this. But yeah, so it's nice to see Briars doing things in the back. You know? I really thought she was just gonna sit in there the whole game. And maybe mostly she is gonna, but it's nice she came to that pool. Hello, friends. It is... Yeah, why did the people... Why did Dr. Buji not be surprised that they're alive? He said, oh, the Loyal Three were strolling by. Sucker, they were dead. Oh, not this place again. This place sucks. I wanted to hear some shock and like all the villagers gathered like, bruh, the Loyal Three are alive. And you know, they like start the festival back up. Hey. I wanted to see like everyone complimenting uh, the Loyal Three. I mean, I still give kudos, man. The whole trailer season was a ploy to, you know, trick us. Get us used to the Loyal Three being called that. Get us used to Kieran doing something, lashing out in some way. Let me see. If I try to think of things from his perspective, he's always been lonely as a kid. And then now the moment he starts to get close to me, even I turn out to be like the others and hiding things from him. So he, he feels lonely back to the start again. So it's kind of just all amplified now. Hmm. Sucks to be him. I'm joking. I feel for him. That's why I want him to destroy the village. Cronin, you're the lamest climber ever. <laughs> I've gone the complete wrong way. I'm just so excited to see Briar. Oh no. She's gone. But why Briar? Would no Briar notice? Are you kidding me? Fine. It's quite weird, you know, that Milotic was one step away from terrestrializing. I wonder why it just didn't. You know, could have just fought us as like a water terror or something. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Oni Mountain. Here's home of Ogre Pond. And right down there. Right? Hello, Ogre Pond. My best buddy. Hey! It's Monkey Donkey! Oh, it's all of them! They found out you're bullying! 
What have you done? Hey! Roar! What's the roar button? A whistle. Hey, can you guys wait? Can you guys get away? Stop doing that. The sucker stands no chance. He only fought out of vengeance. Oh my god, they're actually beating him up. This freaking incinerator needs to get off my screen. <sighs> I can't take on all three. Yippee yippee. Fine. They want to beat me up? You mustn't. Yo, did you see his eyes turn like pink? What, did they just play rock, paper, scissors? You're ugly! Let me hear this theme. Level 70! They're legendaries, man! It's so crazy! I can't catch them. Can I see their typing? I can't. Okie doggy. Wow. Hey! Get your tongue back in your mouth! I don't even know what typing you are. You know what? I'm gonna... Well, you might be a poison. You know what? I'm gonna outrage. I'm going all out, baby. Short-lived theme. Oh, that's a lot of experience. What's wrong, monkey? Everything not monkey dory? Why are they such jokesters? He got back up. Knock it off, all of you. They were trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. Hey, she got her brother! Mmm, Kiki. Wow. Wow, they're losers. The only reason they even attacked the mountain back then was because they knew it was 3v1. <laughs> I guess I'm too much for them to handle. Damn, well, I, uh... Go on, say properly. About the mask, I just got so angry and... What I did was real dumb. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mention it! <laughs> Don't mention it! <laughs> I don't want him to come around yet. I want him to be evil more. Thanks, Damo. He was sulking around, so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And, well, I'm glad I did. Look, okay, pun. It's your descendant buddies. It's really you, the real-life ogre. Wowzers, you're really something. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pond, right, Kiki? This is for you, dear Ogre. It seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. Look, it's just like him. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it, Damo. Nah, bruh, what? Bro, I know I'm the main character, but, you know, he could have just given it. Hey. It's like he's most comfortable when he wears it. Because it protects who he is. That's sad. He he, it seems so happy. He seems pretty comfortable around you, Tamo. It'd be nice if we could give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond too, don't you think? Did those... Did those three Pokemon take the masks that were in Kitakami Hall? Yeah, never mind that. The masks rightfully belong to poor Ogre Pawn here. I wouldn't put it past the so-called Loyal Three to plot a second ambush either. We need to keep Ogre Pawn safe while we deal with them. That means the three of us are gonna form a team. The Mask Retrieval Squad. Hey, he took it off again. Nice. You got a problem with the name? Think carefully, or I may demote you from second in command. I can come too? Of course you can. And now that that's settled, let's go gather intel about those Loyal 3 and Masui. We're gonna get those masks back. We can do this. It's also interesting because 
they're going against the original tale this is based off, right? The Momotaro story. Oh, yes, baby! What's good? Hello? Bro, I have eight Pokemon on my team now. Look at this. Six, one, and Ogre Pun. Are you kidding me, sir? Can I check out your home? Actually, I can't. Oh, I can't. I'm just fat. I've been in here before. Are you kidding me? This is the tiny place they lived in? So, here's a question, right? What is Ogre Pond? This is so cool, guys. Hello! Yeah, in the original story, like, it was a vicious and stupid ogre. You know? And Momotaro feeds the three uh, animals along the way. And then he beats up the thief ogre that steals from the village and all. Not that it's like sacrilegious to turn the story upside down, but I never thought they would do that. You know, Poke Game Freak's taking a lot of different steps. Okay. One sec. Where are we supposed to go? Did they split off in three directions? No. They're all right here. Okay, well, I'll just fly here. I forget what I was going to say. I was going to say something. But this is so cool, dude. Oh, yeah. You know, it's been maybe 200 years, right? Why did Ogre Pond never go and take the masks? Maybe he just didn't want trouble. I mean, the other three masks are always in the hall here. Gagra. <laughs> What's wrong, Ogre Pond? I bet he doesn't want to go in the village. The villagers did a pretty good job of chasing it away back then, so... Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, maybe Ogre Pond can wait for us here. We can go gather information while it waits. D do you think it'll be okay? Pay attention now, Ogre Pond. We go in village. You stay here. Ogre Pond stay. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no. Why would it he listen to me? Wait for us here till we come back, okay? Be good and stay out of trouble. Why does it like me? I don't want it to like me. I want it to like Kieran, man. Looks like it understood that. What was wrong with what I said? Treated like a caveman. Uh, Ogre Pun. Where is he? Ogre Pun, I demand to see you right now. Is that her? Shut up, Polywag. I heard you. Ogre Pun! <laughs> what the hell? Why are you hiding under a tree? Ogre Pun, I will freaking throw Roaring Moon at you. Get him! Hi! <laughs> this is amazing, man. Alright, my dudes. I'm gonna call it quits here. Make sure y'all shank that like button. 4k likes. We upload this again. This took a turn I did not expect. I thought Kieran would just be evil and bring wrath down on the village. Now we're, we got a four-way squad with Ogre Pond. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. Hey! <laughs> he went and looked at the mask. <laughs>